What's cracking, people? It's your man, Cousin T, aka the Alpha Wingman, representing high level technicians operating globally and beyond. So, listen, today I just wanted to take out the time to, first of all, thank all of the, ho- the Hot House members who have come over uh, to pledge their support and those who <clears throat> have accelerated their support. Uh, and the the mission of masculine mastery over uh, on the Patreon side. I want to thank everybody for that and also offer an invitation to those who may be curious. Go ahead, go ahead and sign up. Uh, you can at least do your pledge and you can, um, you know, observe the different posts and videos that are there. But for those who are ready willing and able to take it to the next level uh take a look at the higher level the journeyman and and the technician levels because those missions are beginning as of tomorrow and they will continue uh in the months to come so beyond that i wanted to get into the subject of the shades of alpha because there have been some uh, back and forth and some ramblings about obviously what it means to be alpha in this modern space what it has all always meant throughout history to be alpha why there is a distinction why there is a uh, need to distinguish alpha and just basically how applicable and appropriate are the terms alpha beta uh in this modern space that we find ourselves so first of all why do we use this term in the modern world well i don't think i need to state this but uh there's currently a war for manhood and notice that i'm not saying a war against alphas because that there can't be that but there's currently a war for manhood not against manhood but for manhood in defense of manhood there are constant uh, campaigns that attempt to redefine what it is so taking up the mantle of alpha is a clear and direct response to those attempts see the mantle of alpha is just something to cloak the superlative uh, representation of of manhood and that looks like a monolith in order to combat that war uh, against manhood so beyond that and why I'm bringing up the shades of alpha I'm saying that because not all alphas are created equal there are variances and shades and degrees of alpha and that's how it should be Nature is filled with variety and ecosystems and diversity. Masculine mastery is no different. Even with age, uh, true alphas in in their prime respect, admire, and appreciate the wisdom of the older, more refined alphas. I know that recently there have been back and forth uh, in terms of uh, content creators uh, and of a certain age group and to an alpha that's the most ridiculous thing that you could ever imagine that's why a modern rites of passage is so essential and is happening in private spaces like the hot house over on patreon but also on um, private pages um, of content creators such as BGS Itmore. If you if you want social mastery, go over there. If you want game mastery, check out Ron Wells. If you want image mastery, look at Kevin Samuels. If you want ver- verbal seduction mastery, look at Alan Roger Curry. If you want hustle nomics mastery, take a look at Glendon Cameron. If you want game level guru mastery, look at Warren Lance. If you want real manhood shit mastery. Take a look at Sea Boogie Productions. And if you want body and motivational mastery, look at Stefan Klinkscales. These are just a few of, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, of the modern return of rites of passage that are necessary to build a path towards 
um, masculine mastery. And what happens is it fills a void that's currently missing uh, in the public mainstream vanilla space. There was a video done by uh, Lyndon Cameron about the the current um, let's see YouTube purge as it was uh, referred to as, and basically, and I'll, I'll link that video below. And it was talking about at one point Lyndon uh, spoke about incels and how they look at the superlative or these alpha chat versions, excuse me, of content creators and say, ugh. Look at them with their chisel good looks, their six pack, eight pack, twelve pack abs, their amazing arms, their square jawline, their perfectly uh, cut or coiffed hair. Uh, they're trash. I don't like them. I don't look like them. I can't look like them. The world sucks. Everybody sucks. Man, nah, man. Nah. That's the exact opposite of how an alpha would respond uh, to content like that. An alpha would look at, 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 at a person who has those looks, who has that lifestyle, who has those attributes and say, wow, look at that. I've never looked at it or thought about it from that angle or I've never used that product. Uh, that's a good uh, recommendation or that's an interesting take on a perspective or a situation. Two completely different mindsets two completely different energy signatures and ways of expressing oneself. So what I've come to see is that most men and younger men aren't used to hearing alphas speak. So when alphas do speak, it's so tangent to the language of vanilla beta culture that most respond to it as if it's foreign. Alphas literally speak a foreign language to these uh, to the beta blue pillars but that's why we repeat the message like a drum beat so as to awaken the dormant energy within men it's curious to watch discussions um, and hear debates about what is alpha and, and I put debates in quotes uh, because when, when people try to discuss what alpha is and what beta is, uh, they're, they're, they're trying to put it or frame it as if there's a competition. And the truth is, there is no competition between a true alpha and a non-alpha. When a true alpha enters a space, for example, every person, man, woman, and children all turn their heads to observe. Just like when a lion graces the savannah's watering hole. Be honest. Just, just, just for, for the sake of argument, be honest. How many times have you, I'm, I'm talking to the author, I'm talking to the ASPs, the USPs, I'm talking to the select men, masters of the universe. How many times have you gone somewhere and random people ask you where you work out? How many times have people ask you where you got that t-shirt that hugs your arm so well? Hmm? How many times have you been asked if you've uh, served in the military because of the way that your back and shoulder posture is so on point? How many times have you, have you been asked, hey man, how, how much do you bench? Uh, do you play in the NFL or NBA? I know for a fact that there are men within the sound of my voice who can relate to all of those questions and more. They just haven't been able to connect the dots. Alphas can only compete with other alphas. And when we do, it's only to get better. Stop right there. Most, most, most average people can't even process what I just said. Most average people look at competition as an end-all be-all but alphas look at competition as a necessary fire to refine who we are we look at competition to not only champion the situation but to get better i don't know about you but if i'm in a new situation a new place or a new location and i'm looking at gyms to join 
because you know that's one of the first things that our alpha looks looks at when he surveys an area when i look at gyms and i go visit and i do the uh, walk around i look at the people that are there i look to see if this gym has a collection of athletes <clears throat> if it has a collection of fitness models if it has a collection of superlative examples of the population uh, that the gym is located and if there's an excess of out of shape overweight selfie taking machine hogging people i'm not going to join that gym because i don't need uh, other people who are poor representations of health to make me look better if i'm in a space where i'm paying a certain fee so that i can go there pick shit up and put it back down i want to be surrounded by people who are like-minded and that's the true mentality of an alpha how many times have you had a disagreement with a real man let me ask let me say that one more time how many of you within the sound of my voice have had a disagreement with a real man what does that look like basically this is what it looks like if you have a disagreement and you're hashing it out you may argue it may get heated it may even get physical then what happens then you go grab a beer you shake hands and then you see each other the next day and get on with the business of the day with the beta <laughs> that same scenario uh, HR would have been contacted police restraining orders would have been filed he would have been trying to get people within a, cert uh, a certain social situation to, to be against you all for what because he couldn't beat your ass and he's too pussy to even voice his differences eyeball to eyeball as a real man another stark difference and I know I know that people within the sound of my voice have seen and observed this situation and have been baffled like why would you why would you do this why would you go back and, and, and tell and, and do all these other things it was because they're not alpha because they're not real men that's how women do shit even quote unquote queen bees or divas because women have a different energy they have a, a different mindset that feminine energy manifests itself differently and unfortunately it's permeated its way throughout uh, the societal strata and it's made its way into the soul and the, and the essence and the energy signature of men that we call uh, beta the men that we call beta when women have a, a disagreement or an argument they excommunicate other women who they have had a disagreement with uh, and they politic to get others to side with them and ultimately create a hostile unproductive toxic environment that's true toxicity right there toxic femininity that's where the toxic actually exists the result of that is that it could take weeks months years or even the the, the situation the original situation can never be resolved how many men out there have a girlfriend or wife mother aunt who have women that they haven't spoke with for 20 plus years 15 years oh i don't speak to her we don't speak why because they had a disagreement over the color of a blouse maybe 15 years ago are you fucking serious alphas handle that shit within a few words hey you good what's up let's handle it blase 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 we good all right cool that's it and let's not even get started uh, on the quote-unquote competition for women what competition for women to quote the great sea boogie the nerve of you we don't want your four five and adjustable six ass women trust they're a waste of time and and frankly can't handle men of our caliber and to be real beta men know this deep down inside they know that we don't want their women 
and are actually insulted that we don't want their women. It, it, it's, it's like they need confirmation that they chose a, a good little piece from the gods. They need confirmation from the gods that, okay, this 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 little uh, uh, garbage spell kid that I chose is okay. And when an alpha walks by and, and, and they uh, catch their females with their tongues hanging out, and we don't even acknowledge their pound puppy looking asses. Now the beta wants to get all up in his feelings and uh, scheme and connive and try to get back uh, in the only way that makes sense in his beta bred mind. Call HR, call the police, slap his woman around. Everything except getting into the gym. Everything but getting his self, his environment, in his world on point anything but what a true alpha would do and that's why there's not even a competition between alphas and non-alphas we don't even exist in the same dimensional reality how's a fish going to compete with a jaguar huh how's a zebra going to hate on a falcon they don't even move the same way and so if this doesn't effectively address would be conversations or would be debates or the would be uh, quote unquote thoughts on competition between alphas and non alphas. Tell me what would let me know down below in the co uh, comment section. What do you think uh, a true uh, representation of the, the quote unquote debate or quote unquote competition between alphas and non alphas is because frankly I don't see it. And as always, this is your man, Cousin T, aka the Alpha Wingman, saying stay sharp and mission focused. Later.